Now I want to make a word on association classes, which are occasionally useful even in conceptual class diagrams. Consider a relationship between a class student and a class course, which is going to be given by is taking. So we're saying a student object might be taking a particular course represented by a course object. Now that's fine, it gives us a link between a student object and a course object. But what it doesn't do is allow us to record anything about that, that relationship other than the fact it exists. It doesn't give us anywhere to record the student's mark on the course. It doesn't give us anywhere to record the date on which the student took the course. If you want to be able to record extra information about the links of an association, then you need each link to be, a, to be represented as an object in its own right. Now, of what class is that link going to be an object? It's going to be an object of an association class. Now, we show it like this. We show a class is taking, attached by a dotted line to the association, which is shown is taking. And you should think of this as one single model element. What we're saying is, this is an association, but it's also a class in its own right. Um, typically because we want to record information about the link, such as the mark that the student got on the course, or the date on which the student took the course. Conceptually, this relationship is not something that's really part of the student or something that's really part of the course. In the end, it's likely to be implemented in one of those places, although it's possible that it might be implemented for real as an actual Java class. You should think about what the Java representation might be of this situation that you want to show student object taking course objects and be able to record the student's mark on the course and the date on which the student took the course.